Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we're going to start a new achievement run here in the Open of Versalis 4. Uh, I put it to the poll. Actually, we had two polls, and the achievement that people asked for today is an Ottoman achievement. It's called Definitely the Sultanate of Rum. And you have to own Istanbul, which is Byzantium held. And then you also have to own Moskva, which is Muscovy owned. And also Roma, which is Pope held. Now this is going to be interesting because you obviously have to go to war with a lot of Europe to do this stuff. But that doesn't mean you have to focus on Europe. For instance, taking, taking Roma, we should be able to do that without really pissing off very many people. In fact, it might not even be a very big war to do that. It's an isolated state, so you don't have to go to war multiple times to get it. One war will do. Uh, you can take their capital in one war. Moscow, on the other hand, is going to be much more difficult, I think. Not only because Russia typically has a whole buttload of troops and manpower, but um, you have to do multiple wars to get it. You have to isolate it first by taking Kaluga, Twer, Vladimir, Ryazan, and Tula. Once you own everything around it, then you can demand it in the next war's peace deal because it's their capital. Capitals are always tricky to demand. Anywho, let us um, go through the options real quick. No bonuses, no difficulty, Lucky Nations Historical, and Iron Man. Yes, let us hop in as the Otto Derps. Oh, we need a new name, that's right. Um, Ottoman's Achievements. Go. And right off the bat, just starting the game, we get a long steam cloud save. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried there. Whew. So we start out at war with the uh, with Albania. That's fine. Looks like there's some provinces that we could convert. We'll have to work on that. We'll have to get our piety up, work on conversions. Uh, what are our relationships at the start? Uh, we have no allies, no vassals, no marriages, no nothing. Whoa, really? Well... We should probably go ahead and marry ourselves over to Crimea up here. Done. And where else should we get a relationship? Maybe Tripoli? Maybe. Karakoinlu, maybe? Oh, they don't like us much, do they? Huh. They are a different religion, aren't they? Timurids are probably going to fall apart. Hmm. Even the mom looks like a marriage. Wow. No, I don't fancy I don't fancy friendly relations with the mom looks. I bet we're gonna be beating up the mom looks a lot. Well, who else could use a hug? Hug. Maybe Oman or Yemen? Yemen typically does okay. Oman is usually the dominant power. Oman might be a good one, even though they're the wrong religion. They might be good. Hmm. I'll think about it. We'll, well, well, damn, I really wanted to just get one of these and just go. Could do Ak Koinlu. See, the thing is, we could start out by vassalizing and annexing some guys, or we could just go go to war to annex them. I think it'd be easy either way. Guaranteed by the Mamluks. Oh, that's amusing. <laughs> that's an easy war with the Mamluks. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. You guys have three and four, seven base tax, and you guys have eleven base tax. So a two province minor with seven base tax will vassalize easily, but a three province minor with eleven base tax will not vassalize. Hmm. Where are our cores as the Ottomans? Oh, look, we have cores over here. That's up. Uh, so we can just go and next these guys. We have cores on that shit. 
All right, well then we won't try to be friendly with them. Let's um, let's be friends with Car Coin Lou. And we'll use them as an ally against the Auto Derps. All right, so what do we have for an army? We have 27 out of 27, whoa. And 15 out of 17 ships. We have a big military at the start of the game. And we have 26,000 mofos right up here. Let's go invade Albania. Uh, we don't have any generals, really? We have no generals. How's our king? We have a five, oh my God, we have a five, five, six king. Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow, how old is he? Doesn't tell me how old he is. Just says he was inaugurated. Oh, it says age 12. He's 12 years old? He is 12 years old. How is he a sultan at 12? That's crazy. Um, well, let's get a general. Doesn't need to be amazing. How is he a 12 year old king? Very odd. And, um, we do, do we have any cores on this? We don't have any cores on the, on the Byzantine, Byzantines. We should. I thought we would. Hmm. I would like to just declare war on them. But I guess we can wait a bit. It's no rush. Um. Go help. And ships. We have three trade ships. Go ahead and patrol Constantinople. And we have one trader transferring power from Alexandria. Does that go? Yeah, it does go to Constantinople. Okay, that's fine. And we're collecting in Constantinople? Yeah. So how much are we making off trade up here? Please click. Thank you. Uh, 1.3 ducats. Wow. So we have 3.3 ducats rolling in. All right. And our tech starts out 333. Three, three. Hmm. All right, let's just go ahead and invade then. And we'll take our navy to help blockade. Oh, put the speed up. We got our marriage with Crimea, that's great. We want an alliance, that's fine. Diplomat home. Um, I typically do see the Ottomans get good relations with Tripoli. Just they, they tend to ally everyone around the Mamluks, and I guess that's an okay strategy. Um, I could do that right now. Yeah, I guess I will. Okay, we killed their army. We can just go home. Go to the capital. And can we declare war, like, right now? Do we have any C... We have no CV. All right, well, let me throw them in as... I'm going to put Byzantium as a rival. See if we can get a mission for them. Nope. City of the World's Desire. Oh, we have a mission for them right now. Yeah. We have Conquest on Byzantium. Oh, perfect. What's up, bros? Oh, Crimea wants to help. Cool. cool. Works for me. Let's go to Constantinople. And I'm going to take... No, I don't even need my ships for this. They can do whatever they want. Kill them all. Okay, Byzantium's army is crushed. Let's move on.
Oh, he's attacking my trade ships. Interesting, except I have a lot more ships on the way. And that's all they own. They don't own uh, Rhodes, Naxos, Crete, or Cyprus. Sometimes you'll see these provinces flip to Byzantium. And I guess that could still happen, but it hasn't happened yet. Oh, he juked me. Get out of the way. I want to kill you. There you go. Alright, so I'm going to keep an eye on our manpower. I want to keep that somewhere around max. Let's see. We could do adopt the Devonshire system. Lose military power, but until the end of the game, well, essentially, it's until, you're, until your ruler dies, until the sultan dies, you get more revolt risk, but you get more manpower. No, I don't like that. Denouncement of sect practices. Revolt risk goes down. Gain piety. Oh, yeah, I like that. So if we have a ruler with five diplomacy, then we can do this, which lowers revolt risk, and you get piety. I like that. Piety helps you convert places, so that's nice. Let's start converting. Okay. And where is he going? Moria. Oh, he's going to dock up. Okay. And we just let the sieges go. You know what, I wouldn't be surprised if some land flipped to Byzantium during this war. Like Rhodes, or Crete, or Cyprus, or something. It's possible. Okay, free Diplo. I think I'm going to go improve relations with Oman. And, oh goody! Long steam cloud saves. These are the best. Oh, Iron Man mode, I would love you so much more if you didn't have long cloud saves. There we go. That wasn't that bad. I guess they're sort of fixing it. We're gonna go declare war on all these guys. I could have done that right away, but I'm not sure we really needed to. Yeah, it should be fine. Georgia has no allies. Oh, do we have claims on you? No. Hmm. Maybe that's what I should do is fabricate some damn claims. Oh, I can't. We're too far away. Interesting. Hmm. I'm going to work on Oman, I think. There we go. Group up. Come back to Adirn. I'm going to cross over to Izmit so we can start the invasion of Kandar. And we're at 50. I think we'll wait to the end of the year. So we'll get the... We'll avoid the penalty of negative 3 relations at the end of the year. Okay, you did very well up there, little navy dude. Come on back. We have an heir, a really shitty heir. I do not want to go from a 556 to a 210. <laughs> wow, what a difference. Oh yeah, that's something I forgot to mention. We are in the Ottoman tech group, and guess what? We are the only nation that gets this tech group. It's a sort of similar to Western tech. It does take more points to 
improve technology. We have a maximum point pool of 1,248 1, points, unlike Western, which has 999. So it will cost more to tech up. It'll take us a little longer to tech up. However, um, I do plan on westernizing. As much as I like the Ottoman tech group, it's very interesting. I I'm still going to westernize, just because Western military units are so boss. All right, so I'm going to come back from Kara Koinlu in January. Yep. And we're going to peace out Albania. Book burning. Lose piety or gain piety? I'm going to go ahead and gain piety. We need the piety because we're going to be doing conversions. And it's easier to convert a religion with high piety. Goodbye, Albania. So how much aggressive expansions do we get there? Three. 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 One. Two. So pretty much nobody cares. <laughs> Understandably so. Okay, come on over. And our diplomat is ready to go. Akkoinlu and Ramazan, which would be these guys. That should be fine. Oh, Crimea would join against me. Oh, that's not nice. Fine, we'll go do Carmen first. I can't believe uh, I can't believe Crimea would join against me in that war. Crazy. Algeria. I don't know. Really? He allied all of his... I've never seen that. I've never seen Algeria ally all of his neighbors. Hmm. I think I'll turn you down for now, Algeria. I want to leave some Diplo relations open. Alright, let's take you over. Kill them all. Gotcha, bitch. And did Dogadur join? They did. All right. Fine with me. Okay, you can group back up and let's go blockade Byzantium. What's up, Delcadur? I brought cookies. I know he likes cookies. Was that Yemen declared war on hedges? Yeah, Yemen declared war on hedges, really. Yemeni conquest of a seer. Hm. Good luck. Karkoinlu wants our alliance now. Sounds good to me. And they should offer us a marriage. I hope. Well, they haven't offered us Jack. Alright. There you go.
Oh, he has a freaking son already. I was really hoping to get that personal union, like, right off the bat. That would be, that would be nice. last orders of the Great Prophet were to send forth the warriors of the faith to bring the Romans into the house of submission. We must do what no other Ghazi has done and conquer the city in the name of the Prophet. Yeah, they want Byzantium. They really do. There we go. 100% on Byzantium. So what kind of peace deal do we want here? Oh, we can't take both of them as vassals at the same time. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll take um, Byzantium as a vassal because there is a chance for shit to flip to them. And... I don't care about their cores. I think we'll just get take their money, too. Okay, and then we can just integrate them later. But that did fail our mission, unfortunately. Reclaim custom Monu. I'll definitely do that. Improve relations, achieve religious unity. Probably go for custom Monu next. Alright, come on across. Sup, Byzantium? So Athens is lonely now. Hmm. I was kind of hoping they would keep their vassal underneath them. But they didn't. They do have Patriot Rebel problems. Let's see if we can get Patriot Rebels to spawn there. I will invest heavily. Oh, and I can take the Byz Byzantines off my poop list. Let's see. Lithuania and the Mamluks have us as rivals. That's fine. Let me put... Let's see. Who do I want as rivals? Well, let me throw Athens in there. That way we'll have better luck with our um, spies. Who does Crimea has as, as a rival? Golden Horde, Kazan, and Poland. You guys have the Mamluks. I think I'm going to throw the Mamluks in there. They're, they're an obvious choice. And the Timurids maybe as well. They don't like the Mamluks for some reason. Hmm. We have good relations with Oman. Let's come back from there. Free up a diplomat to go do other stuff. thousand stack of rebels. Sucks to be you. The Ramazani conquest of Dulcader. Huh. Nobody wants to join my wars. But everyone is busy with rebels and shit. Hmm. Free diplomat. Alright, well, let's just annex you. Oh, no, you're the war leader. I can't do that. <laughs> that would be bad. Four point two, that would be nice. Please have rebels. Ak Koinlu and Kandar. Crimea, Golden Horde, and Ramazan. Ak Koinlu and the Timurids. 
Hmm. Wow, we're making no progress here. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you, bro. Broski? Broheim? We were discovered in Athens. Oh, no. Come on. How many 35% can you fail? I mean, it's getting pretty silly here. Ooh. No, I'll take the money. Thanks. I like money. There we go. Alright, peace you out first. Since you're not the war leader. And we already have a core there, so that's nice. So, Ramazan's the next choice, I think. I would love to have my allies join me, though. You know? No, they don't want to. Damn it. It's your problem, bro. Why don't you want to join me? Hmm... But you know what? Why don't we call this an episode here? Thank you guys for joining me today. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time. I'm really curious to see if um, Byzantium will have some provinces flipped to him. It's, it's very likely. You can see the type of rebels that will come are Patriot rebels. And if they do spawn, then these provinces will flip to my vassal. So that'd be nice. Anyway, I've been Shen. You've been you. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.